I'm excited. You want to know? Ah, oh, come on. I try to do a little funny joke, guys. Take it easy, all right? I'm excited because you know why. Oh, YSOY. Auto par fun, baby. First thing you should know about this fragrance right here, it's a certified ladies magnet. Let me tell you a quick story. So one time I was at the fragrance.com store in the World Trade Center and I have this habit where when I go to a fragrance store, I like to observe how customers are moving. And when a girl comes in shopping for a man's fragrance, I'm like, like, like an eagle, just like paying attention to every detail. Like, what is she gravitating towards? What is she like? So let me tell you about this. One of the most enlightening or profound experiences that I had in my fragrance journey. The girl comes in with her friend. She's like, I'm looking for a fragrance for my boyfriend for when me and him go out. And he's like, oh, great, cool. So he starts showing her the popular date night fragrances. He brings out the Dolce Cabana, the one Eau de Parfum. She's like, hmm, smells good, but no. He ends up bringing out Dior Omen Scent. She's like, mm, mm not loving that one. He brings out Stronger With You, mm, mm And I'm just observing all this happen at once, right? So I call my boy, Terry. I'm like, yo, Terry, come here. Do me a favor, man. Can you just give me a strip of YSL Y Eau de Parfum and just give it to me? So he does that for me. I have the strip and I just say, hey ladies, I don't mean to interrupt you here, but you mind, you know, trying out my personal choice? And she goes, yeah, sure. I'll take it right away. And her friend smelled it. She was like, oh my God, that is so good. You have to buy that one. It's a certified ladies magnet. My best friend has two fragrances. One of them is, where is it? Ooh, almost dropped it. Bleu de Chanel and this one, YSL Y Eau de Parfum. And this is the one that he wears when he goes on dates and evenings out. And he tells me the amount of girls that tell him how great he smells is countless. I'm telling you right now, this is a certified ladies magnet. Second thing you should know is the performance on this fragrance right here is amazing. You're gonna get easily eight hours plus out of this fragrance right here. So you will not be disappointed when it comes to the longevity on this fragrance right here. Third thing you should know about this fragrance right here is this could be your signature scent. It is literally a scent that you could wear for any season, any reason, any occasion. It will shine more in my opinion for evenings out when you're going on a date, but you could still wear this one to the office. You could still wear this one to upscale events. You could still wear this one on a daily, just like, oh, I'm gonna do errands. Or if you're like, hey, listen, man, I just want a one and done scent. Literally, you cannot go wrong with this one. Fourth thing you should know about this fragrance right here, although it is extremely popular, it is more unique than Bleu de Chanel and Dior Sauvage. Those two fragrances right now are literally in everybody's collection. Although this one is still popular, it is more unique. Not everybody's gonna have this fragrance right here. So I'm telling you, if you want something different from Bleu de Chanel, different from Dior Sauvage, but yet unique, mass appealing, and does a fantastic job when it comes to compliments, this fragrance right here will not let you down. Fifth thing you should know about this fragrance right here, in my opinion, I will be honest as well, I did not smell the elixir, so let's move it out the equation. But when you compare it to any other flanker in the YSL Y line, this is the best one because it balances the freshness, the sweetness perfectly, and it also has great longevity. So in my opinion, although the other flankers are great, I have nothing against any of the other flankers, I do believe this is the flanker that is top tier in the YSL Y line. So the question is, should you buy YSL Y? Honestly, I love this fragrance. I mean, it's a fragrance where, because I have Dior Sauvage, I have Bleu de Chanel, I feel like once I get those fragrances, I don't know, honestly, I'm making excuses. Like, I think I might get this one, but it is just amazing when it comes to latest reactions. Let me actually gather my thoughts better. Look, if you're looking for a fragrance that's good for every day, meaning office, upscale events, everyday use, literally, Swiss Army Knife fragrance, this will deliver. If you're looking for a fragrance that is going to be a ladies magnet, this is a certified ladies magnet. I am telling you, I have literally seen girls go crazy with this fragrance right here. I'm telling you, reactions, you will get them. Three, longevity on this one is outstanding. Eight hours plus. Fourth thing you should know, this is the best flanker in my personal opinion in the YSL Y line. Fifth thing, if you're looking for a fragrance that's not Dior Sauvage, that is not Bleu de Chanel, this is the one to go and you will not be disappointed. It offers literally what those fragrances offer in a more unique scent profile. 
I truly respect what YSL YEDP has done. And if somebody tells me this is their one and done fragrance, I commend them because it is a fantastic choice. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of YSL YEDP. If you did, give it a like, leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe. Have a good day, guys. Bang, bang, bang. All right, all right. B E.